As Huntsville scientists worked on their rocket to take mankind to the moon, major parts of the civil rights movement were happening all around them. Marshall Space Flight Center's historian tells us the Rocket City grabbed onto an identity that would draw in scientists of any race. Renata DiGregorio shows us how the city transformed. In 1961, JFK vowed America would put a man on the moon by the end of the decade. It was the same year the Freedom Riders fought for equality in a still much segregated South. In the same time that you're really going through the key parts of the development for the space program, that's the height of the civil rights movement in Alabama. The idea that George Wallace will, you know, as he's elected, he stands and says, you know, segregation forever. You know, it, this is still that same Alabama that it's happening in. Marshall Space Flight Center historian Brian Odom says the Rocket City needed to create a separate identity for itself to make its space program successful. Here in Huntsville, there's this conception that there was a, you know, an island of progressivism, that Huntsville was somehow different and unique from the rest of the state. And that was something that was cultivated purposefully, right? That's something that they wouldn't be able to attract people here. It's hard to tell an African-American engineering graduate in California to convince them to come to Alabama to work for the space program as long as that image problem is still there. Soon more young non-white people were getting trained in Huntsville to aid the space race. So it's development of the Saturn V rocket, but it's also the development of technology training programs at places like Alabama A&M, science programs at Oakwood College. I mean, these are, you know, at the time, they're revolutionary. As the city creates an identity marked by scientific success and not segregation, it changes. Odom says people from all over the country arrive to work on the rockets, bringing with them their culture and adding to the basis of the economy. Huntsville itself, the city, begins to just a transformation from what was a, you know, cliched little sleepy little cotton town, right? But it's just the influx of these people to work on these programs. The Saturn V may have launched mankind to the moon, but it also launched the so-called oasis in the south toward the future. Putting the Valley First, Renata DiGregorio, WZDX News. People from all over the globe come to visit the Space and Rocket Center. They report people from more than 140 places internationally came in 2017.